epic. We need to have a serious talk. Last week, there was a whole bunch of news that came out around Creative 2.0, not because Epic actually released any information about it, but Tim Sweeney got on Twitter and kind of did a little ask me anything. We got just a little bit more of a peek into what Creative 2.0 is gonna look like. So we're gonna talk about that, but there's something that's more important than Creative 2.0 that Epic just has not addressed in the last couple of years, and it's time we have a serious talk about it. Because if this doesn't get addressed, then Fortnite's never going to reach the ultimate metaverse that Tim Sweeney so dreams of. So first, let's talk about the news, and then let's talk about what I think is so important. First, Carter here asked this question of Tim Sweeney. Will the Unreal Editor for Fortnite really have all of the capabilities that the original engine has, and will there be locked and limited features? Lots of questions. Now, I love that Tim actually answered this with, it will have the features that we've tested and hardened to support deploying content into Fortnite. Compatible with Fortnite gameplay on all platforms without native code, it will expand over time. First, I love that the CEO of Epic is willing to respond to people on Twitter and answer their questions. This is really the only way we've gotten any news about Creative 2.0 at all in the last couple of years is from Tim tweeting. Second, it means that anything you've seen in Fortnite, whether it's a live event or the imposter's game mode or anything else, will be something that we can do in the Creative 2.0 tools. But we might not be able to do all of that at launch, but that it will expand over time to eventually give us every tool that the Epic developers have. It kind of confirms to me stuff that I already suspected and that we kind of heard before, but it's great to hear out of the CEO's mouth, or I should say computer. Then Ben asks, how are you going to tackle content moderation? Will custom assets need to be approved before being available in the editor, or will all maps be subject to review before publishing? Which Tim then answers, content will be reviewed prior to publishing, meaning before releasing to the public. Full details will be forthcoming later this year. So Ben's asking basically about modding, so being able to like slap on a Simpsons style skin into Fortnite and then making that public. But I wonder about people just making videos and not necessarily publishing it and just saying, oh, this was made in Fortnite. Gonna be an interesting process, but I'm curious to see what Tim comes out with later on this. Then Fevers here asks, will the possibilities really be endless with this? Will there be restrictions? And then Tim says, it will start somewhat small and grow over time, mainly because it's not an environment to build a completely new game from scratch as with standalone Unreal Engine 5 stuff. It's an environment for building new things that coexist in the world that began with Fortnite. So really, will we be able to do anything? Not exactly, but I think it will be able to do anything in this Fortnite universe, which is really exciting to me. Then Daniel here asks, will these tools be available to console to use? I get asked this question every time I talk about Creative 2.0. CEO of Epic says, the Unreal Editor runs on PC, but it can interoperate in many ways with Fortnite Creative tools running on other platforms. Different people on a team might use either. So I kind of talked about this before, but the Creative 2.0 tools will only be available on PC. But someone could be using Creative 2.0 tools on one PC, while simultaneously someone else could be using Fortnite Creative in its original state, and they could be working together, building a map. That's what it sounds like to me that Tim's talking about and what they originally talked about in their first announcement of Creative 2.0. So no, you won't be able to use their 2.0 tools on your PlayStation, but you will be able to build with someone who is. So I know that's probably not the best answer that you're hoping to hear, but that's just kind of the way it is when you're working with these high powerful engine. Then my buddy Adam here asks, will these tools support creating desktop shortcuts for game modes in creative? Tim says, this is a great point. The team is working on better ways to get into a specific game from hyperlinks and elsewhere. This is an interesting answer. I don't really know how you would get into creative mode without having to launch Fortnite first, but I'm excited to see what they develop with that. And then the final question that Tim answered is, how will copyrighted materials such as music be used? Will it be like Roblox before the audio update or will audio be limited? And then Tim says, there's a lot in the works we're not ready to talk about. Philosophically, music is a huge part of the metaverse and we want to help connect creators to musicians and music partners to do great things together rather than anarchy. I mean, this is a cool thing to talk about here with music and I don't know, just other copyrighted material being in a game like Fortnite. That's a huge topic that Epic's been trying to tackle with all of their collaborations and different things they've been doing. And I don't know if this is ever gonna get solved or we can just put in whatever we want. I hope at some point it gets to similar how it is on YouTube or even on some other platforms where there is some collaboration where we can all use this stuff together to make awesome content. That's everything that they talked about on Twitter. But on April 25th, there was an article 
that came out where Tim talked about the metaverse and creative 2.0 tools, where he confirmed that later this year, they're going to release the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So that is just yet another confirmation that we're going to be getting it this year at some point. Please, 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 let's get it this year. But now, Epic, we need to talk. Before all of these really cool, amazing tools come out, or even when they actually come out, something has got to happen. Everyone in the world needs publishing rights. They need to become here, click this button, and make their map public. I understand why Epic hasn't done this yet. Clearly, with the Discovery tab and everything there, there's a lot of issues of spam and people abusing the system. But what I'm proposing isn't necessarily letting everyone have a code to make money, but letting people be able to publish. Right now, I can't make any money from my maps, but I do have publishing rights because Epic was cool enough to allow me to have that, even though I can't have an actual working code because my brother's Donald Mustard. It's just a policy that Epic has that I have had to deal with this whole time. But being able to publish has made it so I can make all sorts of maps that are really fun to play that people can go and check out and have brought actually hundreds of thousands, even millions of players into Fortnite Creative, even though I can't make any money off of it. I understand people might be worried about people making inappropriate content, but guess what? They can make it in this system anyways. Make a video on YouTube and publish it and it's kind of defeated that purpose of not giving them the code in the first place. That's beside the point. Tim has confirmed that more than 50% of the plays in Fortnite come from creative mode. That means a bunch of people are coming into maps, you know, flushing toilets like this, or turning on my faucets in the maps that I've made, and having fun in these creations. Well, that's good for people that want to come in and play maps. By denying people the ability to publish their maps, Epic is losing out on a huge demographic of people that want to build and share their stuff. Minecraft and Roblox are all huge because they can share their servers or their builds or whatever without reservation really by having some sort of a walled garden here where only like i don't know 10,000 maybe 25,000 maybe 100,000 people can publish maps is holding creative mode back i want the millions of people out there to be able to click this button and have it mean something even if only one other person plays their map they need to be able to share it like imagine if i had a youtube video but i had to be sitting next to someone and showing it on my phone privately for them to be able to see it that's the current state of creative mode you have to get in with the game with the map maker in order to see people's maps as opposed to just sharing a code with your friends and then they can go and watch it or play it or do whatever they want when they want to do it i mean imagine if only a few people could share youtube videos youtube would not be a big deal at all now it's a miracle that creative mode is even as big as it is with so few people able to publish this will attract so many more people into using the unreal engine tools people will start to learn that they love game development in the fortnite universe and it increases the workforce for epic games in the future when they want to hire people. They can come and cherry pick people that are using their tools that are awesome creators already at using Unreal Engine. And right now they're limiting the motivation for people to use these tools by limiting how many people can publish their maps. And ultimately they're limiting the number of players that are gonna come in and play creative mode by limiting people's ability to share their creativity. This has got to happen in order for creative mode to truly enter the metaverse and to be as big a success as Epic wants it to be. Creative 2.0, all of this stuff won't matter unless people can share their work.